Geek Group, and you're not. We're here today with Paul Kidwell. Yay. Yay. How you doing? I'm mellow. Yeah. Doing fine. Have you achieved an impressive level of Zen? I have achieved an impressive level of Zen. It's Fourth of July, Paul. Yes, it is. You know what that means? We get to make things go boom. We get to play with fire. 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 Oh, we I got. I just realized something. What? It's a bad idea to do that with a used toaster. Yeah, you got like bread there's, crumbs. There's like nasty crumbs. And that. I don't know where this toaster came from because I've never used it. We've had the same four slot toaster at Geek House for, oh God, since like 2003. But well, the, uh, we found this. The, there's, there's the. And you mentioned wanting to play with a toaster. Yeah, there's things inside. There's things inside. We the the little well, you're gonna crap need. door on the bottom is. Hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some tools. You gonna get some tools? Okay, okay. I'm gonna need a Phillips right off. Yeah, I'm on it. Bread crumbs and bagel crumbs and somebody hey, likes. Yeah. Can't have a Phillips. You have a straight blade. I got a number three Phillips. Which uh, that ain't gonna fly. That's useful. Okay, my Gerber has a Phillips, but I don't know if it's going to be big enough or small enough or whatever. How do we not have a Phillips screwdriver? Anymore? I don't know. Hey, I got one that'll work. Okay. Okay, I'm undoing the electrical first. Okay. Or not. Leave that be. We'll get the rest of them off. You got a Gerber. You do the other one. I'll take it. Yeah. There you go. Parts is parts. I want to put this one back on because I think it's going to be more fun to leave that attached. For oh. The electrical. Oh. Bimetallic mojo. Yeah. You push That's that down, it there. hooks. And then this thing here, there's going to be a release latch. Yeah, the, that sets the distance right there. Yeah, and there's the little metal thingy there that and pushes it's, it off. It's by right adjusting there. this that does it. A mm -hmm. little spring in there for tension. And cool. the business end, there's an electrical connection going across from there to there to tie the two okay. sides together. And we've got what? Here, mm -hmm. let's, let's get to the close-up mojo here. We'll, uh, hang uh, on, hang on. Getting some video in here so that people can see what we're doing. And close the... All right, now what do we got? Is this like mic up? Let me, I'm not certain what that is. There, got the trap door closed. But here's a switch that turns it on and off. Okay. And when you push down, it engages that switch. And there's here's a little, little cam. Here's a little lock. And there's a little cam right there that sets how much time. There's a little bimetallic. Yeah, element. here, hang on. Let me, let me get some things here. Okay. So you've got the little cam right here that you turn the cam. And it moves this spot in and out. And when this goes down, it pushes how much this has to move in and out like that. And when this comes out far enough, it pops up. You get your by toaster that out. Yeah, and toast yeah. is done. So this that's moves. That's this that's this heads that way, and as this goes further that way, mm -hmm. it, this gets further that way as it heats up. Yes. Okay. So extracting the nichrome wire won't be very easy. Oh, yes, it will. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Well, okay, extracting the nichrome wire intact won't be very easy. Well, there's, we, we, there's parts we don't need that we can Oh, there is a whole world of stuff there that we just don't need. Okay. All kinds of safety apparatus. All right, well, first off, we don't really need the switch. No, we've got a plug. That's, that's a fabulous that's, switch. That's right how there. we can turn things on right and off. Here. Yes. So, okay, and... Uh, the switch is broke. I think it needs replacing. Oh, well, let's do something about that. Yeah. 
get a lot of anger pumps. Yes. I, I, Are you getting I, enough fiber? Oh, I'm getting well than, more okay. than enough fiber. Fiber is not the issue. Are you regular? Uh, oh, with that much fiber, yes, okay. no problem. Okay, there's, there's. No, I'm gonna look at the switch. Okay, you look at the switch. Hey, I got another. Can't piece. really look at the switch. Why can't you look at this? You should the be able. The switch is pooched, Paul. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh that's, well, that's, well that's, here I got the bimetallic element thing that we can. Yeah, I want the bimetallic element. Oh, oh, you do. All right. Intact. Well, that being the case, I'm just gonna cut the wires to it okay. because me pulling the thing out, it's not gonna be intact when I'm done with it. And we got an actual flat blade screw in there. I wonder if that's the only thing holding it in. We got these slides. There's a neat little screw or spring arrangement on the back here. There is? Yeah. Really? Look at that. Here, I'm gonna, I want to get a shot of that. Oh, that's what pops up the toast. No, is it, this, is it? this is what uh, pulls these two. You ever notice that the things go together oh, yeah. when the toast goes in? Mm -hmm. All right, you pull this down. And there's a spring on there. Oh, it centers the toast there, for you. Yeah, it's a centering arrangement. Oh, isn't that nice? It's it's kind of neat how they did it with with a combination of two springs. Okay. Is this going to come out nicely? I don't know. No, it's not. Well, your bimetallic element is blocked by this rail, and I don't want the rail. What rail? The, this rail. This and rail? And it's spinny, and it looks like they crimp the end of it to hold it in place. That's the rail that the slide rides on. I mean, the bimetallic element is actually loose right now. A second here. Ah, there Got you it. go. There. Wonderful. Now will the rail come out? No, maybe. All right, I'm gonna take the spring out. That that'll keep us from having to fight that. Oh, look, the spring. Okay. okay, you need to get that one. Oop, there we go. Well, I don't think it'll come out, but it will, you know, maybe it won't. It will bend. I don't want to damage these out here. That's what I want to say. Ah, there we go. Got it? Your Yay. biometallic element. Yay. Yay. Okay. okay. All right. I got some little metal tabs that are... It doesn't look very things. biometallic. It, I believe it would be. I don't think it would be anything else. Oh, it is. It just doesn't look it very much. And usually they're two obviously dissimilar metals. This one looks... Not so much? Not so much. It's pretty generic, pretty boring. It's all dark. Usually they're obviously like, one will be copper or one will be nickel or something like that. And one will be brass. You know, this one, yeah, it's boring. We'll have him play with this in a future video. We'll heat it up. Show people how bimetallic diamonds work. Okay. You got that apart yet? I'm trying it's just a to. I know that. It's, like, I'm it's trying, not a good toaster. It's like I'm a ten dollar toaster. I'm trying to deftly separate these without damage. Yeah. And yeah. I'm getting very careful, very close to having it separated. I got one more down there that needs. You need to lift and separate, Paul. Lift and separate. Where have I heard that before? I don't know. Knowing you, probably never. But trust me, lift and separate is a very important concept. I lift too far, too much. Work. Okay, stop. Okay. Stop. Okay. Some of the greatest things in the world, Paul, involve lift and separate. Okay, and we should be free now. All I need to do is bend it around. Oh, that one slipped back in place. There we go. It went in there, it'll come out. Yes, it will. Do me a favor and grab the rest of it. Okay, got it. There we go. There. We're still need that. Well, okay, we're bending. We're damaging our little connection point there, and that's going to rip out if we're not careful. Okay, you got rid of a little too much. How do you figure? We got. We need the power cord. I need my Gerber. Here. I wanted the whole thing because it had the connectors on the end, and we could. Well, if you want to strip I'm wire. I'm making connectors. You're right making connectors. Okay, you make connectors. Just for you. I'm Just making connectors. Okay, this is the business end. And this in here is nichrome wire. 
And what is nichrome wire? Nickel chromium wire. It's resistive. How resistive? Hand me that meter. You got a meter over your right. I, I happen your to left. have a meter that measures ohms. Cool. What's an ohm, Mr. Kidwell? An ohm is the res a measurement of resistance. As opposed to? Conductivity. Which is measured in? Mohs, as I recall. It is, it is. Anyhow, I always thought that was kind of dumb. It's the opposite of ohms. It's ohms backwards. Yeah, that part I figured out. Yeah. Okay. But well, what are you is it name the it? measurement of resistance the measurement of conductivity? No, it's the resistance. It's the, it's the measurement of anti-conductivity. Anti yes, yes, resistance. So by, resi resist by measuring conducting. something's ohms, you're measuring its conductivity. No, you're measuring it something, it's something. It's resistance. attempt to stop conducting. It's yeah. the, high, the higher the resistance, the less it conducts, the more it resists. OK. We measure large wire diameter in Gauge, American or, wire gauge. Yeah. yeah. Don't we also measure small wire diameter and gauge? Yeah. So it works both ways. Well, the, for wire, the higher the number, the smaller the wire. Yeah. So yeah. wouldn't the lower the ohms be the higher the conductivity? The lower the ohms, the higher the conductivity, yes. Yeah. So technically, you're measuring conductivity in ohms. That, OK. When you're measuring water in a graduated cylinder, are you measuring the water in the bottom or the empty in the top? Same kind of thing. OK. We're measuring the water in the bottom, OK? okay. I'm just saying, we don't need a unit of conductance. It's just OK. Dumb. Anyhow, I don't know if you can see that on the scale now, but I got that set to Oh, columns. here. Here. I'll, uh, so if I go from end to end, from there to there, what do we got? Um, technically, the, the zero. Uh, a lot. Overload, good. What do you mean, overload, good? Overload, good. A little black bar went no. all the way across. No. Zero. Zero? OK. Yeah, zero. So if I go from end to end, what are you getting? Squat. How about oh, hang on, hang on. You almost had it. Hold on. You're, you're not making conduct. OK, there you These go. These probes are like all corroded. 31 point, well, 30. 30 ohms. 30.9 OK, ohms. if we got 120 volts divided by 30 ohms, that would be 4 amps. Yeah, give or take. So this here will draw 4 amps. If I go half the distance, where is that hooked up? Hold on. There to there to there. Do you understand all you know about what you're doing? I'm fully unaware of what I'm doing. That's the full I believe there. that you're ah. fully unaware of what you're doing. OK, now try from there to there. You get uh, 60. 60, OK. Before, I was doing just half. From here to here is yeah. half of it. The full thing is 60. Yeah. So again, 120 volts divided by 60 ohms is 2 amps. So this thing draws two amps worth of power. Which is impressively small for a toaster. I would think, yes. I was expecting like eight or 10 amps. Because, OK, and watts is volts times amps. So yeah. if we got two amps at 120, this is 240. Maybe they'd rate it at 250 watts, which is kind of low kind of for a, a toaster. toaster. Yeah, but I would expect it much higher. Let's, I mean. let's plug it in. OK. You got Here. Your, I'm going to get rid of. Spurious. Don't need that one. Don't need now that the wire has uh, it's insulation. got heat resistant insulation. It's all fiber. Yeah, it's fiberglass. It's fiberglass, yes. Be careful when you're taking stuff apart, um, really old stuff. You'll see insulation that looks kind of like this. It'll be white and powdery. Yeah, it'll be white and powdery. It's mm -hmm. not fiberglass, it's, it's asbestos. asbestos. Yes. But it tastes like candy. It tastes like candy. It yeah. tastes like mesothelioma. <laughs> OK, I here? got, I had it. That one You're going to need a quarter. Off. I'm going to need a quarter. I'm going to get the quarter. Thankfully, we keep one right here on site. OK. Just like that. The, uh, the clips aren't working all that well. Do you, do you need me to teach you how to do this stuff? You do it. Go ahead. Feel free. Teach you. Cut it. Yeah, I was, that was my next step, was to actually cut the things off. You're going to crimp See, that's, them? See, that's you. You want to cut things off, because you're destructive, because you got a lot of anger. 
and and I've met your wife, and I understand why. But see me, I'm a little ray of sunshine and happiness. Okay. So what I'm going to do is actually open this up. See, I'm going to lay the wire right in there, just like that. Here, we'll show people how it's done. And here, I'm going to put this camera out there so I can zoom out a bit. Let's see, I'm going to take this connector right here. And I opened it up. We'll lay that right in there. Like While that. you're holding it, would you like me to crimp, or are you going to do it one-handed? i do it all one-handed, because I'm that good. Because you made fun of me. You with your okay. Now, look at that. Well, look, at that. look at that. See it? That's, fine. That's fine. It's beautiful. That's, great. That's how yeah. it's done. For, for what we're doing here, that'll work just great. Yeah, it's great, man. I don't know if you're aware of this, Paul. What's that? I'm a genius. Freaking genius. Crimp that one over, just like that. Okay. Ah, it's beautiful. Look at that. That's so fine. Happy. Be careful what you're doing because you're ripping it apart back here. Hey, that's not my responsibility. Okay, you told me to connect the wires. I connect the wires. Okay. I can put a little electrical tape around there if you want to be safe about things. I don't think. We need oh to. Yeah, yeah, right. We have an. We've got open nitro wire on the bench. <laughs> I mean, really, you know. Um, should for, we have, for the record, the, where should we put if this on to will, keep it from burning the table? Yeah, that's that's one of the things I was thinking about. But I um, can just hold it like that. Okay, we in can, theory, it's safe okay, to touch these top and bottom ones. Yes, it is. Um, you're going to want to turn it the other way so the camera catches it, or you, you might well, you might I'm just want to hold it up. Insulation. Why don't you grab it here and just hold it? Because that's hot. Because oh yeah, and that's what well, I was talking about with the pliers. You're insulated. Enough. But why don't you face the nichrome wire? Oh yeah, there's no the wire in this. Okay, here, because um, it's it won't hold itself up like that. Just gonna, hold on, hold on. You got it. Oh hey 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 hey. You got a rubber band or? I, no, I got better than that. I got just the ticket. I got just the ticket. Here. Oh, wonderful. Yes. And then I'll hold this side up over here. With those. Uh, I would use the insulated ones. I was just gonna stand. Oh, get me the. Where did the meter go? The meter. The yeah. meter's over here. I'm gonna use the insulated ones because the weight won't hold that one on time. We're gonna set this to volts while we're doing this. We can have we're a. Set this to stun. <laughs> Phasers on stun. Now, this is going to get hot fast. Do you think? Yeah. It's a toaster. Well, it's not yeah. going to get that hot. It's only 250 watts. 25 watts will brand you. <laughs> it takes a minute, but yeah. OK. You ready? You into branding? OK. This opens a whole new light of side of you. That I OK. Didn't, I didn't know it about. should be incandescing any. It's getting warm. All right. OK, it's starting to stink, but uh, it should be getting glowy. Not really. I mean, I can I can see some definite light glowing mojo. Okay, I see but a little bit under the lights in here. You can't really see it. It is it, glowing. It, it it's glowing is now. possible that these were wired in parallel. Mm, yes, these were wired in parallel. We have them in series right now. Okay. Or how are we going from there? This one. It's definitely isn't glowing. On. Nope. You only have you only have one of them well, on here? right now. Okay, so that yeah. one isn't doing anything. That one isn't doing anything. All right. Cut the power a second. Cut the power a second. Okay. It is getting warm. Oh, it's it's toasty. Yes. Are okay, you good? I'm good. Power is off. Right, I'm going to lay this down and just cut this right off. Yeah, because we don't need that. Okay. Clip that on the end, and we can stand this up. Will that hold it? Does it okay. Uh, it hold it so that just hold that. i got to reposition it a little. So it's, set that end down. There. Hey, cool. Hey, look right. at that. Okay. So the two sides were wired in parallel. All right. So we have, actually, that makes things a little different. I got a meter right here, so we can no. measure whatever you want. To. If they were in parallel, this was 30 ohms. Mm -hmm. I measured, I said 60 ohms divided by, or 120 divided by 60 would give us 2 amps yeah. and 250 watts. These two were in parallel. Okay. So it's not 30 plus 30, it's 30 divided by 2, so 15 which is 8 amps. 
which is about 8 amps. Yeah, so I was so right, like my 8 amps. It's, it's closer to 1,000 watts for this thing okay. if both of them are running. Okay. So are we ready to plug back in? I'm sure. I don't know what's going to be different this time, but give it a shot. Give it a shot. Let okay. it just go ahead. You want to lick no. it or something? No, I want you to put that so the... the I, I had it right where you could see it. Can camera. you see it on yeah, camera? Yeah, it's great. You can actually see the numbers? Yeah, you can... Okay, well, why don't you put it to the side, because you got room over here. Just put it over here. Okay, okay. now... There's your numbers. I'm going to go from here to here, and you should see 120 volts. I see 110. 100, yes. Oh, we got 110 here. 110.3. Okay. I should be able to touch the wire along other places and get different voltages. What do I got there? Uh, 37. 65. All right. 96. Okay. So this length of wire is one continuous resistor, mm -hmm. and you can pick your voltage off any point. So you could along. use this as a resistive voltage divider. Yes, you could. It's effectively what it is, really. It's not like an auto transformer, though, which no, no, you no, could no. also do a similar thing to. But, but that's, that's inductance. That's, and inductance that's and mag totally magnetism and a whole other thing. Okay. This is strictly resistance. And if you were, if it was winter time, this would actually, you know, warm your yeah, hands. Yeah, you nicely. pick. You know, the hottest day of the year. It's like 93 degrees outside, mm -hmm. and this is the day we're playing with heating elements on the set with all the lights in it. Yeah, you do this just to punish me, don't you? Absolutely. Okay. Every chance I get. I don't know why you don't love me. I'm nothing but nice to you. Okay, now just, you know, let's A save ray of that. Sunshine. Okay, yeah. Don't do this at home, boys and girls. Yeah, we need. We, Where we, the hell else are you gonna find a toaster? You don't just find them sitting around bus stations. Cafeterias. Okay. Don't do this at home. Do this at the local cafeteria. Yep. The yep. lunch lady will love you for it. <laughs> totally. You gonna unplug that? Oh, you did. All right. Yes, uh -oh. I did. All right, so that's an equipment autopsy exploring how toasters work, which is quite lovely. And we get all this nichrome wire to play with, so we'll have to set that aside. Yeah, that, that, that'll be fun. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. That's Paul. I got, I'm going to you got a spring. I got springs. I got springs. I what are you doing? I'm going, to, I'm going to bend my spring. Why? Because I want it straightened out. There we go. What are you doing? No, I need, it needs a little bit more what loving What the hell care. are you doing? Oh, God. Can you hit the camera with it? You gonna try? I won't try that one. That one? The cameraman is cringing right now. Hang on, hang on. Was! Was! Oh, you almost hit him, too. Yeah, it went right over his head. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden. Waiting. You're waiting on me. Yeah. And I'm Paul Kidwell. Okay. You want to try it again? Well, you, sometimes you say my name, sometimes you want me to say my name. You, we don't have anything set on how that works. You introduce me every time. We shouldn't be doing that anymore. I should be saying my name all the time. Because then when you say, I'm Chris Bowden, then I just say, and I'm Paul Kidwell, and we, we, it would flow. But sometimes I go to say, and I'm Paul Kidwell, and you're already saying my name, and it messes me all up, so I don't know what to do. Paul? Yeah? Have you ever heard the term blithering idiot? You're blithering. Right now. No, I'm not. Really? I am, I, am, I am recounting the facts as they exist. Blithering. Just saying. That's, that's it. That's the definition of it. Because like, I... <laughs> after like the first 10 seconds, all I'm hearing is Charlie Brown's teacher. Just, wah, 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 wah. I didn't... Just, just lay this on your arm. <laughs> <laughs> just... <laughs> then I'd be pretty. Yeah. Zebra stripes. <laughs> I dated a girl had zebra stripes. Really? Yeah, on her butt. Why? I, it was like a birthmark thing. It wasn't after effects or something? No, no, this is like, like natural, like it was there. It wasn't she like a had, piercing or a tattoo or anything like that. It I mean, was just... Multiple, not like, like one. Like zebra stripes. Like doo -doo 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 -doo. Yeah. Oh, that'd be sexy. Hey, it was, she was pretty hot. You guys have fun. I'm Chris Bowden with The Geek Group. This is Mr. Kidwell. And hi, Zebra Stripe Girl. You know who you are. We'll see you next time here on The Geek Group. For more information, go to thegeekgroup.org. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe for more Zebra Stripe butt fun with toasters. This video was made possible by a grant from the Future Girl Foundation.